This is how you use index match with multiple criteria in three easy steps. Let's go. So here we have an employee database and we need to look for this person right here and return the salary of that person. And we're gonna use an index match with multiple criteria to do that because there are multiple people with the same name. So we need to make something unique and we'll do that with the name and the division right here. So the first step to using index match with multiple criteria is just to write a normal index match formula. So we'll do that by writing match and an open parenthesis and then the lookup value. Don't worry, we'll get to the index part in a minute. So the lookup value is the first sub step here uh, of step number one. And the lookup value is Steve Jones. We are looking for Steve Jones. So select the cell where the name is. Now write a comma and let's move on to sub step number two and that is the lookup array, and that is simply where we are looking for that specific name. And we are looking over here in column A. So let's select that and click the comma. And now sub step number three is to choose the match type. I've been an Excel consultant for more than 10 years, and I've used index match with multiple criteria many times, and I have never even once used anything else than the exact match option. So just double click that or write a zero here and you don't need to know why that works better uh, than the other options. You just need to remember that it's always just exact match. Now that's the first part of doing a normal index match formula, but we need to wrap the index function around the match function. And here's what I mean by that. This is the index formula and its syntax. Now, for the purpose of this guide, we will not be using the column number argument at all, so we can just go ahead and delete that. And here we have the match function, and we are going to replace the second argument, the row number argument of the index function with the entire match function. That means that when we're done, it'll look something like this. So here we have the match function inside the purple parts here that are the index function. Write index before the match function right here and an open parenthesis and then the array argument, the first argument in the index function is where we want to return something from and we want to return the salary so we select column D here and write a comma and then end with a parenthesis and so we have the first argument of the index function here and the second argument of the index function is the entire match function. Pretty cool, huh? So hit enter and that's the index match formula on its own. We need to use step number two and three to convert this into a index match formula with multiple criteria. And that's an array formula. That's a formula that has a, a different syntax than you're used to. So step number two is to change the lookup value of the match function to one. And in this case, one doesn't mean one. One means true. If I wrote a zero, that would mean false. Don't do that. Write a one. That means true. That means that the criteria that we're going to write in, in the next step needs to be true in order for us to find what we're looking for. That's it for step number two. Pretty easy, right? Step number three is to actually write the criteria. But before we do that, if you like this video so far, please click the subscribe button. Thanks. Okay, step number three is to change this argument into the criteria. And the criteria syntax looks like this. And that's, I know, it's probably a bit different than what you're used to looking at in Excel formulas, but that's the array formula part of it. So. Parenthesis, multiplication sign, parenthesis, that's how you separate the criteria. And the criteria here is that column A should be equal to uh, G2 and column B should be equal to G3. Now, let's look at that in Excel. So we need to convert this lookup array into the criteria. So write an open parenthesis. And the first criterion is that column A should be equal to Steve Jones up here. So that's a reference to cell G2. Close parenthesis, multiplication sign, and then the next criterion, which is that column B, 
should be equal to the division up here, which is cell G3, and then close parenthesis. And that's actually how you write the criteria. It's not that hard, although it does look a bit weird if you're not used to it. So hit enter and there we have it. This is the salary for Steve Jones in the sales division and he is right here. So yeah, we got the correct salary returned with this multi-criteria index match formula. This example was with two criteria, but if you need three or more criteria, you simply use the same criteria structure. So here we have the criteria structure from before, but we have an extra criterion right, right up here. You can see that to the right. When we convert that into Excel uh, references and whatever we wanna fill into these ranges and criteria, it looks like this. So it's basically just more of the same. If you like simplifying things, you can actually achieve the same result with the good old Excel filter. And if you're not a filter super user yet, you can just uh, watch this video right here and you'll get up to speed. Also, another way of looking at this problem is to, instead of using multiple criteria in your lookup, you can just return multiple matches and then easily pick the one you need. And you can learn more about returning multiple matches right here in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around. Bye.